Hi, my name is Tobias Harris. I am a principal and the proprietor of Tobias Design Collab and uh, Levine and Harris. And you are watching Student Perspectives. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for another episode of Students Perspective. I'm Maya here with Tobias Harris, and thank you for tuning in. And Tobias, thank you for joining us. Um, welcome. Would you like to give us a little introduction to yourself, um, a little summary about what you're doing today? Sure. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, it is uh, really an honor to get uh, approached by Stephen in here as a fellow uh, uh, alumni of uh, Savannah College of Art and Design. Uh, I graduated from Savannah College of Art and Design in uh, interior and electronic design major, uh, which is kind of like interesting at that time, we do not even have <laughs> we have like a Photoshop 1.0 or something like that, which is gonna like a really, really interesting. And uh, at that time as well, uh, I was uh, an international student coming from Indonesia. I took my master, deg master degree over there. And, and for the first time, it's somewhat delve into the world of design and art, which is the most exciting part of my life. I think like being being uh, a student back as a student again. I was I was taking like a, a, a master degree at that time. Uh, what I am doing right, now, I've been delving into uh, hospitality design, uh, interior design, architecture. My background is architecture engineering, and then when I moved to the United States. Uh, I kind of get in into like the, the less technicality, more towards design kind of uh, perspective in interior design. And just right after uh, almost graduate from SCAT, so a year and a half, I got recruited by uh, uh, a design firm in Chicago, uh, Marv Cooper Design at that time. He was one of the prominent uh, designers, a restaurant designer at that time in Chicago. And I did not even finish the school. I kind of like automatically just go to, 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 uh, to Chicago and start my career there. Uh, it was just kind of like really interesting uh, in there. I learned so much about one, being an American, I think what's kind of interesting, being a designer, you need to be, uh, uh, you need to figure out who you are first. I think that's what's kind of like interesting, kind of like approach that uh, Marv Cooper told me, you know, like everything that you design, Toby, it needs to have a soul. You need to know yourself first. And you need to learn culture and you need to learn about behavior you need to learn about what people like, what people don't like, how to respect them as human beings. I think that's the most valuable kind of like a lesson that I got from Marv Cooper that that kind of like haunt, haunt me kind of like in and the rest of my career. Uh, following uh, Chicago time, I spent there around uh, so around uh, about 10 years and being like a junior interior designer, becoming like a uh, senior interior designer. What's kind of interesting is 
that principle that I just told you, opening up a way to uh, to multidisciplinary kind of like approach that when you are talking about design, when you are talking about uh, creating an experience, no matter what kind of uh, space you are in, interior design, architecture, graphics, performance art, everything is kind of like somewhat uh, becoming blur in a way. You kind of like are creating an experience. Just imagine if you kind of watching TVs or watching a movie. I mean, everything's there. And then you are kind of, yes, you're kind of holding like a specific part of like a function there. Yes, you are a set designer or you are kind of like a costume designer, but as a designer and later on as a creative director, you can have somewhat kind of uh, becoming a director or becoming like a, a somebody that, that that uh, that creating like that scenarios basically, so well, that's gonna like interesting. From there, nine uh, eleven, I think the toll of everybody uh, at that time, uh, Chicago basically collapsed, and uh, our company is was uh, a small boutique companies, and and I think there is some disagreement between Marv Cooper and his business partner that lead us to to uh, separation and uh, collapse of the company. And what I did was uh, work for my own for a while in Chicago, and it was quite successful. As a matter of fact, I was having fun. You know, like I think I did not just do the uh, restaurant design, which I was kind of kind of segmented into something else. You know, like I was designing theater, I was designing everything. I, it's just so much fun, but I have like a green card issue. So my lawyer told me like, you need to get hired. So, and at that time, you know, 9-11 being a car business was really, really bad uh, overall. I was lucky enough to get hired by FRCH Design Worldwide in Cincinnati, which I thought, oh my God, from Chicago, I moved to Cincinnati. Oh my God, just kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and was uh, was hilarious. Was <laughs> I did not know what to expect at all. You know, I, I expect the lowest kind of like, and I come to find out that FRCS, I know FRCS is a great name. But I do not know how great that was. Uh, I, I kind of uh, work for one of the largest uh, retail design firm in the world. And, and uh, from there, I kind of continue my craft. I own my piece, which is I know food service design uh, really well that allow me to uh, using that principle. And what's most important thing I told you about like Marv mantra that kind of like somewhat shaped me into a full round designer. It just kind of like so inspiring that kind of, uh, you know, I love, I love Marv, you know, I think we still in connect with him. I do some, I help him in the several projects as well, kind of as it's, it's, it's uh, and he is kind of work for his own. Uh, go back to Mark Cooper design, you know, like an original Mark Cooper design until until his passing. So, I mean, I lost my mentor. I lost my friend. I lost, you know, I think I think that's such a, a big kind of like hole in my in my heart uh, yes. to see him uh, laugh. But uh, FICH kind of like took me uh, uh, to the next level uh, because I think uh, what's kind of interesting about retail design, which is I think not a lot of like school teaching what retail design is because retail design is a mix between uh, architecture, interior, which is kind of physical build out that, that and the technical, the tacticality of things, the, 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 the behavioral kind of like hospitality aspect of things, the way people kind of like live and the way, you know, like the beauty of things, right? I think that's kind of a lot of like things that we learn in the design school, basically the principle of rhythm, the principle of like focals and all that kind of like stuff. But I think what's kind of like interesting about retail design, we merge the thinking of marketing. There is such thing as customer. 
and the customer behavior and the customer uh, and how to communicate with the customer, which is kind of like interesting kind of like during MARF time uh, before everything falling apart, basically, I was uh, tasked to lead their graphics group kind of like I saw somewhat kind of delve in into the environmental graphics, which is communication in, in, in nature, right? Uh, so kind of designing logos, I, I kind of like understanding like a little bit more about identity, about building identity, which is I think like a good uh, foundation, literally for uh, retail designers. Because if you go to the store, let's say, uh, not only you see kind of like how people uh, see and feel and, uh, and entice them to buy, but there is a function that is, it is a selling tool. The store, the store is a selling tool. And especially right now in this omni-channel world where everything is somewhat kind of merging online and offline is all merging together. And I think and allowing customer to take control of what uh, their retail experience, again, their retail experience is, uh, it's become more and more complicated. So like the understanding about marketing identity, the storytelling, giving uh, them, uh, the customer the reason why they need to choose this brand over that brand, that brand other than the other brand. Not only within brands, products too. Oh. Maybe this product, this product classification is better than product classification. It's just so complicated. And then all of a sudden kind of like, um, oh, uh, you know, not to mention service. Oh, I want to pick it up from the store, buying it online, pick it up on the store. I want to return it on the store. I want to kind of like uh, exchange it in the store, making things so complicated. And I think like the foundation that, that, that Marv gave me uh, uh, is really uh, becoming the best thing ever happened. So, and uh, after I moved to New York City from uh, from uh, Cincinnati, I worked for. I was recruited for for uh, uh, a design built firm that want to build. Uh, a kind of like uh, design practice within their design built kind of environment. Uh, it lasts me like about four years over there. After, and, uh, and from there, I kind of figured that I want to just following my footsteps and be on my own. So I've been kind of like working on my own right now and create and trying to, again, go back to the principle of like what uh, what I want to do, which is I think I do not want to be kind of like somewhat uh, bound by a type of work. I mean, I do have a lot of food service in my portfolio. I mean, like, no kidding. Just tell me, you know, like, oh, just name like any, any, any food service in the whole entire world. You know, like a big names out there, McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, everything. Taco Bell, I did that. Uh, there's my name in it. Wow. And, uh, and uh, I know everything and everything I can, I can, I can decide that in my sleep in a way, but I kind of like want to do something else and bringing that uh, principle that I think this, this uh, last, uh, last excitement in here that I'm having right now, the adventure is allowing me to do that. I think, uh, yes, I think that I will still kind of be uh, known for the food service. Uh, I will still uh, known for the restaurant guy, but, uh, uh, and retail, a secondary is retail because I did know uh, how to kind of uh, uh, create a department store or or a uh, uh, big box and all that because I've done it banking even but uh, I think right now I want to delve in into something that is a little bit more liberating 
And kind of what thing and uh, what uh, what's kind of interesting too. I want to be surrounded by people that uh, I want to be surrounded with. I want to be happy uh, doing uh, my work, and uh, I want to be fulfilled in what I do. That's amazing. I'm wow. talking too much, am I? No, I was really intrigued by what you were saying. Oh my gosh, I was like, wow. Well, first of all. I think that's amazing that you had that architectural engineering background, and then you came over and you had all these really amazing experiences. Your mentor, you were speaking of. I think that's even hearing it now. I'm like, I'm like, that is so, um, that's so exciting, and I want to keep that in mind. That mantra of thinking of ev- like everyone who is in- experiencing the space that you're creating and. I think it's so interesting that you are able to tap into all these different types of design and make them all work together and fo- research and focus on the psychology of everything and um, look at the consumer. And even I was looking at a few of your projects and even just those little things, like you said, um, loving every part of the experience and maybe like the consumer doesn't think about that first entry into the store but it's so interesting that you are so into keep like creating that experience just on the first entry of walking into the store and combining all those different things you learned of interiors and architecture and um, the food industry. So, wow. Thank you. Yeah, it is, it is super, super interesting. If you think about it, you know, like back when, uh, you know, when I was still doing the high end restaurant, we did, you know, we did, we did, uh, we did, one of like the principle, you need to do napkins, you need to design the napkins and you need to design the, the uh, matches, the, the mat- ma- uh, 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 matches box, basically. The reason why that is something that you bring, that you touch and you feel that you bring it home to uh, where you are going. You bring a piece of that with you. And that's kind of like a kind of like what's this kind of interesting principle be uh, bringing a piece of you that is memorable. I mean, yes, you can have like a good or nice restaurant. You can have like have a wine and dine with a loved one, with your friends, with your colleagues. You eat a great food, but you cannot, you left, you left that experience after after that, uh, after, after your dining experience done, you go home, you go home or you do kind of go back to work. But the only thing that you kind of might bring home is that matchbox match. That's why people kind of like somewhat collecting all of those at, at that, at that time. Yeah. We do people, we do not smoke anymore right now. Uh, and kind of like the napkins, people kind of like, you know, you, you saw that's kind of like, a designers kind of like a uh, kind of like a uh, uh, sketching on the napkins and all that kind of like it still exists kind of like right now too but there's something that you can you if it's kind of good enough you bring a piece of that home and that's what's kind of like what internet do kind of like do right now the instagram thing i mean that's the old time instagram literally you want to bring a piece of it for you and, and it- personalize it and it keeps you connected to that experience you had like you said you yeah. don't forget- and you get and then you want to come back and um, relive that experience or remember the good times you had. Yeah. I mean, like that's what Instagram is in a way, right? I mean, like right. in a way, you know, you yes, kind of there's a different ways you can uh, see Instagram. I mean, the selling tools, blah 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 blah. But I think the but it is uh, at the essence of it, it is about capturing moments, uh, right. and 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 document it and share it. And yeah. I think uh, at that time, kind of like, you know, that that capabilities are worth of mouth, that kind of like, and I think bringing a piece of home is, is a tiny bit of that. So I think what's kind of interesting is in principle, uh, if you understand the soul of what you do, the soul of what you're designing, uh, it will... Uh, no matter what vehicle it is, you know, that's why storytelling is very, very important. Kind of like I do a lot of like projects right now that's kind of writing. 
for God's sake. And I'm kind of like, uh, I'm an, a, a guy that doesn't even need, uh, speak a word of English kinda, when I was kind of coming in in Savannah uh, 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 with, with a really, really thick accent. And I still do have, <laughs> I still do not know how to, to, to write. Uh, you know, right now, now I cannot write anything. You know, I cannot write Indonesian. I cannot write English. Kind of like it's just so, 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 so weird. But, but I do need to kind of like uh, to kind of express the whole concept into a statement, and I do need to kind of like uh, uh, before uh, you kind of start. You know, I think uh, putting like a, a a pen to the to the paper. You know, like drawing uh, computers, uh, you know, like a uh, modeling or whatnot. You need to have, especially in the multi-level, uh, uh, multi-disciplinary approach. I mean, my team is uh, consists of architects, interior designer, graphic designer, industrial designers that have their own function. Everybody needs to have an agreement of like what they're designing because everybody need, cannot run, uh, you know, like a like a carriage, right? Kind of like you cannot the horse cannot run uh, like a five hundred. You need to have like one path, and that storyline, that statement is the path. Storyline: Why, how, and uh, and uh, why, how, and when you need to do kind of like certain different things. You know, if you can have like go uh, creating a Chinese restaurant, then create a Chinese restaurant, <laughs> you know? Uh, and uh, yeah, most probably there's a fusion Chinese restaurant, but define what that kind of Chinese fusion restaurant right. means and what your customer want to understand. Okay. So I think that's why we do a lot of, very very heavy kind of like uh insertion kind of like process with our clients we interview them as if they are criminals in a way you know why you do this yeah we want to do this are you sure you want to do this because i think what's kind of interesting if you think about it if uh, uh, a ceo said i want my logo to be red and the cmo say Oh yeah, I agree with you that this should be red. And like the uh, chief of development officers, I can, I agree with you on that red. So when but when you put like a five different shades of red in front of them, what they choose is most likely, I would say almost ninety nine percent. Everybody will choose different red. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> right? I mean, like, yeah. yeah, I think like that's why we do kind of like really, really heavy insertion. I think we put the, the bulk of our uh, work in, in writing, uh, in creating like a statement, positioning statement. Yes, what's kind of interesting is a lot of like a big companies uh kind of like a separate this to function kind of like they kind of are hiring a big kind of like a, a branding and kind of like a marketing agency or advertising agency to create like a, a kind of like positioning statement of like the organization including the physical uh, uh experience uh within the brand the, the brand umbrella uh, but what's kind of interesting, even with that, you know, let's say Lippincott, kind of like a, one of the big firm that can do that of profit, uh, they uh, they come out with a, a, a positioning, but they do not go to the experience level that much. You know, when they kind of like want to build, let's say Under Armour want to build their store, we have you know, let's say kind of like be strong is like their positioning statement. What does be strong means in uh, in physical? Right. I mean, is it kind of like concrete cold or is an and tough looking or is it kind of like is giving you a sense of warm uh, adversity for you to kind of like uh, feel strong? You know, I think we need to be kind of really, really kind of uh, get into that. And I think uh, even if with, the, with their presence, a marketing or branding presence, we kind of like really needs to do the, 
the the uh, heavy lifting in determining and do the positions, and especially for retail where customer uh, brick and mortar is uh, heavy. And by the way, brick and mortar is not going away, which is kind of like I think which is kind of like interesting phenomenon. Everybody want to be uh, built kind of like uh, they do not want to go to like an stale you know that's why kmart and all of those names are disappearing right. because they're not kind of like uh they can keep up you know right. with what 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 you want you know yeah. what i want i was like i want i want to kind of uh like some stores the other day i was like really <laughs> you know but well i went to nordstrom the other day oh my god i mean like you know, there's a DJ playing, the one in Manhattan, a DJ playing, kind of like the, the music is upbeat. And like the, the store is designed as if that you are a place for you to be kind of like browsing around people that's kind of hanging out there. The sales associates are, are kind of like hip and cool, or nice, you know, I think like, and why you want to go to kind of like a stale when people kind of like barging you on kind of, how can I help you? How can I help you? <laughs> like a uh, uh, kind of like a squirt, 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 uh, uh, you know, perfume. I was like, oh my God, can I just kill me? You know, <laughs> and, and uh, but I think like something, you know, like uh, the experience need to kind of like understand the current situation. You know, I think like how to translate it to the current situation. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and how it can continue to adapt to our changing times, I feel like, is what you were kind of getting at, too. Right. And I think for you, kind of especially, you kind of like your generation, that is uh, really a thing like that where, uh, you know, online is native for you. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, like you, you grew up with that and kind of like companies that is uh, not, not understanding the purpose of that. There's some expect uh, exceptional on that, as, uh, as a matter of fact. You know, right. check out check out Primark. Primark doesn't even have like a the, doesn't even have they doesn't sell online, but they're still very very successful. But they they know how to maneuver around it. So I think I think as a business, uh, they are kind of like really really smart about it to kind of differentiate. But kind of like I think again though I think. Uh, we are in the world that a uh, human being is uh, placed in the next level. I think with the uh, with the uh, women right, women's right, you know, like the 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 racial issue is becoming kind of really kind of like going to the service. The the the, the whole kind of like social kind of like you know, I think changes in here that kind of like a putting human and highest pyramid of like whole this experience. And I think this is pretty apparent that is kind of like controlling like the whole, uh, the whole aspect of uh, retail in a way. Right. And do you see like with all these um, changes happening with women's rights and the racial issues, do you see them becoming more prominent in like the design and retail as well? Yeah, I mean, I did not see it as kind of like, you know, I did not see it as just kind of like, okay, kind of like a racial centric kind of like uh, products on that kind of a stuff. But that's kind of allowing people who was segregated before. I mean, like if you think about it, you know, like I think in the cosmetic worlds, for example, you know, how many shades of brown like uh, 10 years ago? Yeah. Like none. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I kind of like uh, I kind of like interview like uh, one of the the VPs for Macy's. Uh, you know, she 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 is an African American. She's kind of like the head buyers there. You know, <laughs> when she launched kind of like a product, kind of like you know uh, at at Macy's, it's like you know, you know, there's nothing in here that I can buy. Right. And and that was and 15 years ago. Yeah. Right now, know. with with Fenty and kind of like you know with what that kind of allow the allowing this kind of like product to 
go to the service, you know, Under Armour with the all size kind of like, uh, you know, like a large size kind of like, I think it's not about kind of, it's not about kind of providing just the product, but accepting there's a reality that not everybody is a twiggy, you know, that not everybody is gonna need to fit, uh, you know, I think you just take a look at it, the whole conversation about brands and all that kind of stuff, it changes. It really, really changes. And I think, uh, yeah, the store, I mean, like you, you, there's a rules kind of like how you kind of like, uh, you know, I think there's such thing as customer journey, how people buy human as being human. That's what's kind of like really interesting about retail. We always put human first, but kind of like put human first to the next level, mm. give them allowance for them to, to be human to be themselves is very, very crucial right now. And I think what's an interesting kind of like, I think what Marv said, you need to understand uh, the soul of like what this is yet creating. And you need to kind of like give us the place for them a safe heaven. And what nothing kind of compared to resigning a restaurant that you need to comfortable in your seat. Imagine you're gonna go to a restaurant and, and you are a, a little happy, sad, and you kind of cannot even sit in that kind of like a small dainty kind of like uh, chairs. How they can enjoy the food. Right, you're designing for everyone. And I think that's, yeah. you knew that like years and years ago, but right. that you're making that a part of your sole, sole purpose with your design. Oh, right. Right, right, right. I think I think that is that is kind of like a really really interesting that how I can see that's why I'm kind of really excited with my kind of like experience adventure right now. I want to kind of bring like this principle to office design. I kind of want to be to 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 uh, to uh, apartment buildings uh, or products. You know, right. I think obviously kind of like one of my, my portfolio kind of we did kind of like this uh, experience for the children to kind of uh, to uh, learn to be philanthropic, to give. Right. That things will never kind of like show up kind of like about like 20 years ago. <laughs> You know, like teaching children, I mean, like uh, at the McDonald's time, kind of like, hey, can I put the kids in the cage where they can play jumping jacks or whatever? Put them in a cage, lock them. <laughs> right now, right now, I think what's kind of interesting is we got kind of like a, a, a task to do the, uh, okay, so rather than uh, do that, can I, let's kind of like me and you, parents and kids, kind of like learn together that hard work, uh, everything with the hard work will produce a good things. True lemonades for Chick-fil-A. How awesome that is, kind of like making lemonade is not easy. And this is kind of like true, kind of like the game, true kind of like engagement between parents and kids, parents included, parent is not longer kind of like put kids in a cage, like, like in the, in the playpen, like at McDonald's anymore, you know, mm -hmm. I think they're kind of like more involved in the education. So it's just kind of like super interesting kind of like how humanity right now, parents being a parents kind of like different kind of race, uh, uh, I mean, it is, again, as I said, it is not about racial issue, kind of like this is about respect as a human being, you know, right. I think, you know, I think, I mean, that, that will always happen, you know, I think uh, the, the, the tension will always there, but I think it's kind of like lesson through the, through the people first mentality. Mm -hmm. human I think first mentality. that's good for us students to hear because that's such a, a core part of design and how it's interesting how your physical surroundings can create these different relationships and include, like you said, instead of separating the kids from the parents, it's all you're creating these spaces for everyone. And I think us students going into the design world, it's really important for us to hear that and to include that in all our projects. 
Yeah, yeah, because I think the only one I'm I'm sorry, can I like to say kind of like you have like a big a big roles in here. I think like you are the 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 vehicle of change in here. I think like uh like our profession as kind of like okay, I mean sometimes I, I people kind of like ask you know what is my job? I, I, my job is speaking colors, you know. But you know what? What what are the colors that I choose? Will make you happy, make you sad, make you angry, and make you kind of like everything. I can do whatever you tell me to do. So <laughs> just imagine kind of the retail. You know, if you go to like a store, for example, you go to kind of Nike store. When the minute you step into a Nike store, you behave a certain way. Right. You go to Victoria's Secret, kind of like you behave a certain way. I, I, it's kind of funny. I design. Uh, I kind of part of a design team that did the American Girl store. Okay. <laughs> Me and my boss at that time. I mean, here's a big man. You know, <laughs> we step <laughs> into that to, to this kind of like American Girl store kind of for a tour. I mean, we feel like, oh my god, we could have like child molesters in here. <laughs> <laughs> walking around and we cannot like behave differently we can have like you know we can have like a thought differently and all that kind of stuff but it is true you know i think like a certain environment drive you to uh, act differently and imagine you know like all the small things that we do with that principle of acceptance humanity and kindness you know i think that will change the whole world and we are The part of it, we are part of it. No matter you designing an office, you matter you designing like a retail store, restaurants, hospitals. You know, I think uh, we are the one who's gonna break us the silent, the silent movers. I think in a way. So. Yeah, that's really that's amazing. Yeah, so fun to hear about all your projects and everything. I wanted to go back a little bit. Um, we were talking about the experience online. Versus retail, and do you want to talk a little bit about how um, the pandemic changed these experiences since we weren't going into stores, and that switch to online? If you were a part of any of that, uh, that's that's really really interesting, and I think we are still defining it as we speak because I think we know that this we know you know like deep behind our mind that this is will not going away, but. One thing that we need to realize, one thing that I purely believe that we are human being, we are a social being. Okay, we need to kind of like define. Uh, we are redefining what social means. I think we expanded. Social means that that uh, uh, you know, like a restaurant, for example, is a place to gather. I mean, no matter kind of like what you say, kind of like uh, buy online, uh, you know, pick up and delivery or whatnot. The minute, <laughs> like the minute the the the, the restriction up, boom, people are gonna go into the restaurant because they are social being. We are social being, and we are uh, a herd. You know, uh, we are we 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 are a uh, crowd. Kind of like we are the people. I mean, like uh, social people, social social being. So uh, from that principle, we need to kind of like thinking uh, the omni-channel, using kind of like all the vehicle, and redefining that. What is the function of a website? What is the function of e-commerce? What you want to accomplish? Uh, through e-commerce, what is kind of like the function of Uber Eats, Grub Hubs, and all that kind of like you know, I think like uh, that the third party for like restaurant industries, right? You need to define uh, the function of uh, of like uh, a pickup kind of like a situation, like like Nordstrom uh, social thing, you know, like you did when you kind of like a. Buy something and you want to return it, like a service component. You need to redefining service. You know, like I think, and we do need to be kind of like aware of what uh, this disease literally kind of like uh, spread. You know, like a 
let's say, kind of from the physical kind of point of view, what materials we want to put in our, our tables or, or kind of like uh, chairs and all that kind of like stuff. We want to minimize the risk of spread, right? I mean, are we going to kind of like having kind of like that, that separator in between that? No, the minute kind of like things kind of like it's going away. But air circulation, is kind of like very important. You know, like have a good air circulation is very important. Kind of how to kind of like do that in the like five seats kind of very jam packed restaurant in New York, that is our job to define. Kind of like how as a designer, as an engineer, as, uh, as the, uh, the social uh, kind of like uh, place, uh, creation, creator, designers, you know, we need to think about that. And kind of like, I think by putting, understanding how all of these components work together, I think, I think that's kind of like the key in here. Okay, so kind of, if it is, a, let's say, I'm going to, because I know restaurants, so I think like, why, what, what is the function of a restaurant website? What is it? You know, I mean, is it just going to show, I mean, like most of the people kind of just going to like go to their website to find a dress anyway. So why do we need to kind of have like too much stuff going on in there, make people confuse what it is, right? When you kind of want to kind of click order now, just click order now, you know. Now kind of like third, 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 uh, how we need to kind of like position this website linked to the third party. How that thing's kind of allowing people to know between those two that you can still go to the restaurant and socialize uh, safely. Right. You know, I think everything and service, how do you kind of like service better? You know, I think when you kind of handling food, you kind of like bringing your food to the table and I'm like, are we, do you really kind of like want to kind of like have like a food kind of like a taking to you with the, with the plastic gloves? Yes, you know, kind of like from the, from the uh, cleanliness point of view, but from the romance point of view, I'll be icky to kind of like, a, you know, kind of like see kind of, kind of it, it's not hospital. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, like that's a certain connotation of all of those. Either we change the connotation, create a new culture, or make a kind of like a really freaking cool hand gloves. You know, right. we could do that. You know, like a really cool mask or something. It's a design too. So there's a lot of like design can do to kind of like uh, to kind of like put realizing that that the components is. Uh, needs to be redefined and needs to change and plus kind of like be more creative. I think I think it's kind of giving a lot of room for us to kind of like even maneuver further kind of like in the in the in the near future in here. Excited. It's exciting kind of wall. That is yeah, that is really exciting. I I wouldn't have even thought and you're completely right that seeing the, it's that mix of hospital with your food industry and how you're you're like this feels weird and then you're saying well we can still solve that we can create something that is specific to food and makes you happy instead of feeling uncomfortable right yeah right. and I think then and and we if we know the principle and uh, and the soul of like what we want to do for like a certain experience that can govern uh, the, the, the specific of like what uh, we, uh, we can uh, deliver. Right. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much. That's so exciting. That's so interesting. Yeah, it is exciting. Um, it is. It is. Um, I think we have to begin to wrap up a little bit. Um, yeah. We're going to, I'm going to ask you one more question. Um, so, sorry. Um, if you had to go, if you were able to go back and visit your student self, what advice would you give yourself? Uh, this uh, student self, you mean like uh, as, as a student? Yes. I think, I think as a student, uh, you know, I think that your job is really to enjoy school. Really to learn as much as possible and to challenge what you learn. 
you know, be a brat about it. You know, I was like, why? I think we need to ask why kind of like we 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 need to do a certain things and kind of uh, and but in in the much more kind of responsible way, you know. I think uh, and and I think you do need to kind of like uh, separate the you know the 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 ego. I think of kind of like me, you know, to to understanding me a little bit uh, further. I think, and I think, is it for just me or for others, or kind of I think uh, learn kind of like it, school is kind of where you learn to respect differences and respect uh, backgrounds and all that kind of like stuff. That's the only place. Because it's kind of when you are kind of like in the corporation, the corporation culture will take that over. Uh, and and uh, school is kind of like a little bit more kind of like open on that. Yeah, there is a school kind of culture as well, but but uh, but uh, you are you are a bit more open. And so I think that you can kind of learn to uh, define yourself. And I think for me, uh, my best experience that I think, I'm coming from Asia, so I kind of like get my undergrad in Asia. And I think that's so different there that you never ask, you you never you do not dare to ask questions there. You know, we just followed, you train uh, to do uh, technical, you train to do the best technical, the best math, the best everything kind of like things. But one thing that we do not learn is how to ask question to kind of like uh, have an opinion or have a wants and needs. I think use that to your uh, benefit here in United States as I think like that's when the school is, uh, is uh, you can do that. I think use that to your benefit, but be respectful about it. Use it to, to the, the benefit to you and others. I think that's my 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 two senses. That's amazing. Thank you. That was so nice to hear. Um, well, thank you so much for such an insightful conversation. I wish I could stay and talk to you for hours more because <laughs> so interesting. Um, truly, really inspiring. And I think a lot of other students will be really inspired to hear this conversation today. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate. It. I really love kind of like uh, sharing my my knowledge to students. So yeah. I, yeah, I really enjoyed that. So thank you. Oh, one more thing. Uh, kind of, I think, uh, you, uh, I think I would invite, uh, you know, the fellow students to, to join Retail Design Institute. So I'm kind of part of the board member of Retail Design Institute. And I think for a membership for students are free. I think that's oh. where you kind of like, I really kind of like, will will link to like the best of the best kind of re- uh, professional in retail design. Uh, from okay. graphics, from uh, product design, industrial design, art, and all that kind of like stuff. So, and there's a lot of like good events, and we have chap- chapters all over uh, the world, literally. So check wow. it out, Retail Design Institute. Okay, we definitely will. Thank you so much for yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you, uh, Tobias. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, Tobias in NYC at Tobias uh, in NYC. Okay, thank you. And that's my, my Insta, Instagram. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in today for another episode of A Student's Perspective. Please like, share, and comment any questions you have for Tobias, and we will all see you all next week. Thank you.